Today we're taking a look at supply and demand curves. These curves are put on a bivariate axis representing price and quantity. And we put price on the vertical axis and quantity on the horizontal axis. Now here's one way you might remember that. In the alphabet, P comes before Q. And if we go from left to right, P comes before Q. Price comes before quantity in this. And here's another way to remember that. The vertical axis is price. And the horizontal axis is quantity. You see how we've changed the letter O to a Q to help you remember? Now on that axis of price and quantity, we're going to put some curves representing the aggregate or total quantity of a given product at a given price. Now the first of these curves is a demand curve, the quantity demanded, and that slopes down. This is not a third variable. It shows the relationship of price and quantity demanded by the total number of consumers. And here's another curve called the supply curve. Now this is not another variable. This is the total aggregate amount quantity supplied by all of the producers in the industry. Notice that the supply curve slopes up. In other words, as the price for a product increases, the amount that producers are willing to supply increases. Just as when the price gets higher, the amount that consumers demand tends to decrease. So we have supply and demand moving in opposite directions. Where they intersect will be our equilibrium point, and that will determine the free market price of the product in question and the quantity that is actually sold and consumed. Now what these two curves represent is supply and demand as dependent variables, as the result of changes in price. Now there may be market factors that cause demand or supply to increase due to other features. For example, maybe consumers get more money and the demand increases up to this second demand curve. If so, and if supply curve does not change, what we will see is a new equilibrium point with a higher market price and greater quantity consumed. This is what happens when the demand curve stays the same, but supply increases by moving to the right. We see that a shift in supply, because maybe the cost of production has gone down or more competitors come into the market, when the supply curve shifts right to increase the total quantity out there, Notice that the price tends to go down and the quantity supplied and consumed tends to get higher. Now notice that in both of these situations where supply increases or demand increases, we've moved the curves to the right. We haven't really moved them up, although it appears with demand curve it could be moving up, no it's moving to the right because it is the quantity that is increasing. 
you have to remember that, especially with the supply curve. You don't increase supply by shifting the curve up. You increase the supply by shifting the curve to the right.